<laughs> Yay! Oh, it wiggles! Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Nimbartus. Today we're going to create the ultimate killing machines, or shooting machines, or intelligent laser firing drones. Yes, we are going to uh, pick a planet that has that mission on it. Destroy transmitter. No, I'm, I'm looking for the one that says destroy uh, uh, hives. That's what I'm looking for. Large hive at the planet's core for an epic weapon. That sounds perfect. What we need to do is create something that has lots of guns, but also has a lot of intelligence so it can fire for us. That's what I want to try out. Maybe I will be the one in control of where it goes, but I want to make like a turret. I know there are turrets that we control. Here, anything that says tower after it is uh, points at where the mouse is, and I don't want that, so uh, any anything? Okay, sniper, thrower, flame thrower. Hmm, hmm, flame throwing or EMP short laser burst. Wait, does that have an info on it? It's got digging. It's got a digging upgrade, so... Let's have a couple of them at the front. So we can dig to the center of the earth. I think that will be handy. If I just kind of angle those, I think it might make it easier to dig ahead of us. Is that the right angle on both of them? Maybe! Okay, now for the turrets. I would love to see something that changes direction to face and and no uh, it needs a hinge so a motorized hinge on uh, on both sides that sounds sounds um sensible to put one far enough away that it'll rotate and not explode <laughs> when the physics happen i don't i don't know how i'm actually going to set this up by the way flamethrower flamethrower yes please okay let's put two flamethrowers on either one perfect Perfect. Okay, so we got the weapons sorted. We now need a way to decide what is going to happen when we detect enemies. And I don't know whether to use the direction sensor or or distance sensor. I'm gonna try a direction sensor and see what happens. So I don't know if these will both detect separate um, bits of enemy? I don't know whether they go for the closest. I have no idea how the distance sensor works. I just know that it detects direction, which means that we need to face it that way. Because you see the two different kinds of colors of red? Those decide uh, the direction that you're going. So I think the black thing points at what we're f supposed to be you know, firing at? A good idea, so we can just copy paste these, would be to use the logic splitter block, which disconnects all of the info we've got from all of the other info we get out of, out of stuff. I don't know if it's gonna work properly, but I guess we'll see. I think it's ready, question mark? By the way, after this, okay, I'm gonna test fly it first, so it appears that the direction sensors are working, sort of. Ooh, oh, it's got directional stuff going on with the with the lasers, which is pretty cool. Apart from the fact that uh, if we turn off the gravity, what's going on with our direction sensors? Ah, no, I'm getting pushed. I'm getting pushed the wrong way. Okay, every build we ever do is an experiment, which is fine, <laughs> which is why it's okay if we get things wrong. They're cha- Why are they- what are they facing? What is it down there that they are firing at or aiming at? Is there a thing? Are they aiming towards the floor? Gravity? If we turn off gravity, is that- If we turn off enemies? What's- what's that gonna do? No, why are the enemies still on? There's a- There's an off button for a reason! Hmm. No, I have no idea how the direction sensors are working. So... I'm gonna turn them off. What we're going to do instead is just change the direction of the thing with these. I have set up an array to detect where the things go. So, 
Um, let's get them all to a decent length. It's not perfect, but <laughs> it looks like it's got spidery hands, which is kind of cool, I guess. Let's see what happens when we get to detect an enemy, if it's even possible. There we go. It's it's pretty helpful. It's pretty good. At, um, it's very jiggly. I don't know if that's anything to do with the rotation. Yeah. Lots of flames. Okay. We have spidery hands that can set things on fire, which I like. Yes, it is working. <laughs> Nothing is out of my spidery hand, laser reach. Actually really like this idea. Spider drone. Spider drone does whatever a spider drone does. We get this thing to rotate its lasers to defend us while we dig. So we don't have to fight. We can just do the digging. Look, flames everywhere. It's it's kind of kind of wiggling. But wow, these lasers are really good at digging. They are really really good. I might need a shield. However, I mean, who needs who needs shields when you've got lasers? Like best defense is a, a good defense. No, that's the wrong way around. Best defense is a good offense. Oi, attack them once. Good job. Oh, oh, the fire is affected by gravity. That's interesting. And gravity is slowly pulling me down. Okay, well, that's that's fine. I don't I don't actually need to. Oh, I have lots of space to have to... And the lasers don't affect the thing. Oh, well, I just set it on fire. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, fire for everyone. Uh, lasers for me. I need to go destroy a transmitter. I'm not really that interested. I just dug my way to the center. and I didn't have any problems. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of this little uh, technological terror we've created. And... Once I've finished this mission, I am going to move on to someone else's amazing comment suggestion that they made. And uh, you, You'll just have to wait and see, but it was really cool. Um, I'm going to have to fight things myself a little bit here. Fortunately, they're relatively easy to kill. Oh, there's lots of them. Oh, there's lots of them. <laughs> and they're behind us. Hmm, that's, that's the thing. This is where the direction sen uh, sensor would be really helpful. Okay, let's turn ourselves around. Whoops. Make sure we don't get our face stuck on stuff. Okay, where's that transmitter? Fire everywhere! <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea. Oh no, my turrets have been destroyed. That is bad. Oh, there's one. There's one left. And it's going all freaky with the physics. I have an idea though. If I have turrets that have sensors and weapons facing backwards, I won't need to worry. I won't need to worry about like which direction they're facing, forwards or backwards, because both directions will work. But now I have no engines, so it's it's not perfect. Mostly because it exploded, but that was that was a pretty good run. And we got an EMP rocket shotgun tower. I don't know what that is, but our next creation will have it. If we um, select, create a new drone. So this is this is actually the best idea anyone's ever had, which is to create the clone drone robot in the game. In this game, so I'm going to start by building the body. I, I just love the idea of trying to replicate the clone drone derpy robot in this, in this, very different game, but it still has like animations. Uh, the one thing I'm worried about is that the legs will not be able to rotate properly. We'll see. Anyway, uh, oh, I could just put one of these here. Okay, that's the booty, robo booty. Um, and we're gonna have like a robo core here. So body, and then uh, a head. I don't, I don't, hmm. What mechanical parts do we have? Oh, oh, well the head comes off all the time in, in that game. So, I'm gonna make the head out of blocks that are attached to the decoupler. Oh, I just had the best idea. Okay, so for a thumbnail, I made eyes 
out of these things because I didn't know what they did, but they looked like eyes. So there's the robot's eyes. <laughs> oh, it's got wonky uh, blocks around its eyes. We need to sort out legs now. Oh dear. Mechanical hinges, motorized hinges, that can go one there and one there? Sure. Why, why not? And then a knee, then a knee joint, yes! Recreating the cyber motion <laughs> robot is the worst idea, whoops, worst idea I've ever had. Yeah, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna angle this. And it doesn't, it doesn't need a hinge at the end because I'm not gonna bother with feet. That would be too much. And then we just copy paste that. That's the beauty. Okay, so we've got two legs, we now need two arms. That's gonna be pretty, pretty simple, I think. Uh, and what goes at the end of the arm? Oh, I know what goes. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea, but I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to put lasers for eyes. Let's put these as hands, because they look kind of look like hands, like three stubby blue fingers on the end. Make, yeah. Oh, I could just repurpose the legs and put them on here as hands. Hang on. So this shotgun tower rotates towards the mouse, so it's not going to... It's not gonna, like, act like a normal hand. But now we have a robot! Hang on, it needs a mouth. It, need, it needs some kind of mouth. Um... Oh! Oh, that's a derpy robot! Uh, could the decoupler work as a mouth? No, we need... Uh, do any of these look like mouths? Yes, they do. That one! Let's put a mouth in there. Um, and fill up the gap. Oh, it's got chubby cheeks now! I kind of like it. <laughs> it's so stupid though. It's kind of like the Cybermotion robot, right? Now we need to figure out the controls. So, I think I'm gonna start with the legs. So like, we're gonna make this rotate forwards. The, let's say right is forwards. And then at the same time, it's gonna rotate that way. So it like bends its knee. I've made feet for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, it wiggles. It's it's not very stable. But hang on, we've got shotguns. Can we can we shoot the sh Oh no. Oh, it's not very strong against the other slightly smarter robots. Oh dear. That's that's actually it pretty solid core we've got there. I have no arms now though, so maybe um, a different uh, tactic is required. Actually, you know what? You know what? I don't care. I don't care about looking stupid. This thing um, needs to shoot. Oh, it needs energy. Okay. I just, I totally forgot about the fact that this thing needs energy to shoot. There's, there's some, still some finishing touches to do on this. So... Um, uh, let's give it hair. <laughs> there we go, it's running! But, to actually move, we need propulsion. And guess where I'm gonna put the propulsion? That's right, out its butt. Okay, time for a test flight. It, it kind of looks like it's walking, but also, forwards! Oh, also, shooting lasers out your hands and having saw blades for feet is probably uh, pretty OP in, in most in most civilized circles. Wow, that's a strong epic weapon. I like that I unlocked that. Let's now try it in a real, uh, what's it called? Okay, so it's from Cybermotion, but everyone in the Cybermotion series named the robot Pixel. So we're gonna go with that. Launch! I just realized. This thing is gonna go around in circles. Oh my god, I think it's complete. Yep, here we go. Thank you so much to Slayer Tanks for the amazing idea in the comments. Okay, let's let's get to digging and shooting things. Oh, I see the transmitter there. That's the thing we're supposed to be blowing up on this mission. Maybe. I don't I don't see any reason why I shouldn't use this robot on all the missions. And if it headbutts something, it'll destroy it because it's got a spiky face. <laughs> and it looks like it's rolling its eyes right now, but honest, it's probably supposed to be doing that. Oh, I've run out of- I've run out of juice. Hang on, let's recharge. Blam! 
I destroyed the top. Nothing came to attack me though. Let's uh, leave the planet and find somewhere that we can fight. Destroy hives and destroy transmitter. That sounds more like it. Here we go. Run, shoot, fight, run. Wait, how do we do the run animation? There we go. It's a bit derpy. And I need to recharge my lasers now. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I just realized. I could press this button. Eh. Oh no, his head fell off. Boom. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, uh, commenting all your ideas. If you have any, let me know in the comments and I'll try and build them. But until next time, mustache.